What's going on YouTube and welcome to Metal Punk Reviews. Um, everyone knows about the Boston bombing that happened, what was it, last year? In April, I think it was? Yes, April. Um, three people were killed and 264 were, an estimated 264 were reported uh, injured after two suspects uh, placed bombs at the the finish line of the Boston Marathon and they went off. Um, fortunately, one of these suspects was shot and killed during a, a, a carjacking by police and the other one is injured and was taken into custody and last time I heard he had pleaded not guilty and still waiting trial. But after this whole thing happened, uh, the Boston Red Sox, which is the only sports team in the city of Boston. Um, started this movement called Be Strong. Everybody was on board except one person. Uh, this guy from, I'm guessing it's El Paso, Texas. I mean, I don't know if there's any other El Paso and, you know, anywhere else, but he he's reaching out to Boston with legal action because he's claiming that Boston took the Be Strong movement and uh, took it from uh, this guy's organization, the Brandon Abode Moral Foundation, that they claimed that they had trademarked seven years ago. And uh, Gary Abode, who uh, is the founder of the Moral Foundation, uh, started it for his son, who died in a skiing accident. And um, this, the Moral Foundation uh, helps to improve health and education in El Paso. Now, I don't really understand what dying in a ski accident and and health and education in El Paso have to do with each other. Because usually when, say for instance, someone loses their child due to gang violence, they start a charity to help stop gang violence. And I don't really understand the connection between those two. The uh, skiing and health and education and if someone can explain that to me that'd be great but <clears throat> Gary is um, he again he is trying to take legal action against the Red Sox because of the Be Strong uh, movement um, and uh, in the article I have uh, linked in the description I also have uh, linked the, the Moral Foundation's website if you guys want to check that out uh, he, he says uh, to the El Paso Times uh, in an interview, he says, uh, we are at an, Im an impasse and I'm afraid we're going to have to take this to court. Usually when you take legal action against someone, you usually, you're usually taking them to court. So, nine times out of ten, you're going to court. Okay, so if you're afraid you're going to go to court, you shouldn't have done this in the first place. Okay, um, and... The organization believes that the Be Strong movement in Boston um, has taken away attention and potential donations towards the Moral Foundation. And personally, to me, I think uh, the Boston bombing is a little more important than health and education in El Paso. Okay, because... A lot of people were, uh, even though only a few people were killed in a terrorist attack, which I am counting as a terrorist attack, uh, a huge amount of people were also injured. And charities that, there there were a lot of charities that happened for the Boston, the Boston Strong uh, movement. And the Red Sox donated a lot of money to the, the charities. And uh, again, I, I think that's a little more important. Um, uh, later on in the article, um, uh, Gary states that they are not will that they, uh, in connection to Boston or referring to Boston, I should say, uh, they are not willing to give to give it up because they feel that there is no marketing confusions. And um, he also states that there is value to it because they do not want to uh, give it up and they are not willing to cease and desist. Well, that's because Boston, Boston's Be Strong movement, they took 
the Boston logo, which they own, and put it with the word strong that no one in the fucking universe owns, okay? And it just so happens that Boston's Be Strong and the Moral Foundation's Be Strong just happen to be the same thing, but they mean they 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 mean two different things. Okay? Be Strong is for Boston. Okay? Boston it's a moral patch for them. Uh, and the World Series, uh, when Boston won the World Series, really helped them, and I was really glad that they did win it. Um, and the other Be Strong is something, totally, again, totally different. Um, if, if you guys actually go on the internet and type in Be Strong, uh, you will get several links to uh, the Brandon Abode Foundation and a bunch of images that will come up uh, of the Boston logo. Now, if hey guys, what's going on? Uh, I just want to mention to you guys, uh, I actually ended up Google searching uh, "be strong" at the end of this video, and I wanted I wanted to show you guys something that was kind of interesting. Um, the The article that I read is actually wrong. Uh, first of all, here are the top five. Uh, oh, let's see, one, two, three. Well, yeah, top five um, uh, result uh, search results from Google, and I want to point out that this top uh, this top search result right here, uh, the Be Strong Foundation has no connection to Boston Strong or the the Brian Abode Foundation. Uh, so that's kind of interesting right there. Uh, here are the new the links to the news articles about Boston being sued. Uh, here are the image results. Here is another website that, again, has no connection to Boston Strong or the Brian Abode Foundation. So that's a little interesting right there. And as you can see down here at the very bottom is the is the, the homepage to the Brian Abode Foundation. So um, apparently there's a lot of Be Strong uh, set symbols out there, and I don't know why uh, the Memorial Foundation decides to go after Boston. Instead, they can, you know, just go after all these guys and stuff, but anyway, uh, I'll let you guys get back to the video. Um, uh, he's also complaining. Now, this, this is kind of making me a little skeptical about why he's taking, uh, taking legal action against Boston. Uh, he, he says that, uh, Gary says that, um, they had sold, uh, they had sold the Be Strong on merchandise and they made money off of it. Okay. Everyone knows that they gave that money to charities, which everyone also knows that the charities that happened in Boston, um, to help the, the victims of the Boston bombing. And this part kind of made me a little uh, kind of made me question his, his, uh, uh, his reasonings for suing, uh, Boston, and he says that, but we are not included on that list. Now, to me, that sounds like two things. One, Boston didn't know about your fucking charity before they started the movement, okay, and two, the guy only cares about money, and he's suing the ball club because he thinks he can get a whole shit ton of money off, out of them. But to me, you have the bo uh, a, a, ball, a ball club that's as big as the Boston Red Sox, and all the money they have, they can afford to hire the best lawyers money can buy, right? While this guy is just a civilian, and he's going to have some rinky-dink, you know, $20 an hour lawyer, you know? So, I personally think that Boston may win this one. Maybe there's a 50 50 chance that may happen if they do have to go to court. Um, but I just whole thing that I just think that this whole you know lawsuit's stupid. Um, uh, also, uh, in the article, Boston uh, claim uh, it's reported that Boston had reached out to the Moral Foundation and tried to get a, a joint license licensing rights for um 
be strong, but uh, the foundation had denied the statement due to compensation issues, which, again, makes me think that they're only in this for the money. So, again, I think that be the Boston Be Strong, that it stands for something totally different, and the Brandon Abode Foundation's Be Strong stands for something totally different. It shouldn't, it really shouldn't be taken into legal action, but I feel that, again, that this guy is only doing it for the money, okay? Um, uh, that's pretty much all I have to say. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this whole lawsuit. Uh, again, articles in the description. So is the uh, Brandon Abode Foundation link. Uh, you know, please hit the like button and subscribe for more uh, rants, reviews, and unboxings. And I will see you guys next episode. Later.